new fucking set photos from the Thor Love and Thunder set uh, have been, I guess somebody was flying a drone or they were climbing a tree or something and they have a zoom lens and they got this. They're building the set. They're building a set uh, for Thor Love and Thunder in Australia. And um, everyone's speculating, of course, and and frankly, I agree with them. This is probably Gore, the God Butcher's home world. Hmm. Remember, he lives in a barren planet. It's just yeah, dirt. Yeah. There's nothing, and they're starving to survive. I mean, this looks like an alien world. Well, and and it it's all like fucking Slitterbond to me right now. But well, yeah. <laughs> it's not been it. I don't know what <laughs> I don't know what Slitterbond you've been to, but <laughs> yeah, fucking it's a really crappy one. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, I mean, they're, they're going to put... It's not finished, it's not finished, but they're going to put a green screen around it, you know? Because obviously that's not the background, those trees and shit and those cars. That's not going to be the background. They're going to put a green screen around it or just a blue screen, something so that they can add whatever they need yeah, to add after green it. Green suits and white balls and tennis balls. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm fucking excited about it. Yeah, yeah, that's... Um... So they're barely fucking taping. So they are. If if this is Gore's home world, yeah, they're gonna follow the story. They're gonna show his origin, how he they they fucking lived and he, they starved and died and, and 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 he hates the gods because he thinks they're not real. God doesn't exist. But I, shit, <clears throat> now he does. He I hope Thor. this is a fake. On honestly, because I don't see no need to making. Well, dude, who's the director again? Taika Waititi. Waititi. He made sets. Yeah, I know. Then, then it is a set. It they is made a set. they Fuck. made sets for Avengers End Game. Yeah. Hello. No, I know. Is the, the thing is they like, make sets all the time for these movies. Do you think dude? it would be more productive to just do everything CGI and you know? But if it's Taika no, Waititi, come on, he's dude. more of a guy that does everything. Look, who does uh? uh no, no. Let me that... let me tell you, man. What they've done in The Mandalorian, I think, set a precedent to what movies should be like in general from now on. They That's use crazy. practical and CG effects yeah. blended in, in the same scene. Some things are real, some things are not. You can't tell the difference. That's what it should be nowadays, dude. And and, and I think that's a good thing that they're doing this this way yeah the background will be I fake but at least what the characters are standing on is real yeah no i think what uh they did with the mandalorian actually makes a lot more fucking sense like the the technology lent itself to 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 make the fucking mandalorian a lot better and a lot a lot more i don't know practical and to, it's to it's really this. it's it's inex it's a lot cheaper Yes, it, it costs a lot of money to make that fucking little dome thing, but it's a lot cheaper yeah. because your per, your staff in general is cutting like a half or a th you know you're left with maybe a third because you don't need that many people on set building yeah. shit or you don't need people standing there with lights because yeah. everything's computerized. Yeah. Um, so you save money. Yeah, uh, they cut a lot of corners. Yeah, in a and good way, not in a bad way. It's controlled environment, and it's safe right now during a pandemic because we're still in a pandemic whether you want to believe it or not so it's mm -hmm. safe this is the way the future of making movies i think is the way they make the mandalorian that's that's how they're gonna do it this is they still want to be out in the open i honestly think this eventually this thing that we are seeing is going to be enclosed they're going to build walls like that and we're not going to be able to see yeah. what goes on inside and the walls are all going to be again, like green or blue the fact that it's being done in uh in australia it's a good thing because Australia is a fucking island. They have everything controlled. They know who comes in and out. Yeah, and I think, in, I think I don't think the corona. Th I don't think their corona thing is as bad as everywhere else. No, no, it's not. It's 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 actually pretty well controlled over there. But you know, um, yeah, that's that's, that's why, why they have the ability to do these things. Yeah, right there. that's why they're. You're right. You're absolutely right, dude. Um, so yeah. great. I mean, I'm excited. I want to see the next fucking you know Thor movie, man. That's it'll be another great. year before we see it but um yeah. it'll be good i mean whatever we get this year because now there's word about they're going to delay black widow or either they're going to delay it or, or disney's going to give up and say just release it on stream we'll make some money
hey, if you like shit like this, check out the full podcast on the link to the right. And make sure you hit that like and subscribe button to stay tuned for our weekly podcast. Peace.